One of the things that makes the sport of golf great is the fact that you can play it for basically your entire life. From five years old all the way up through retirement, the sport of golf is something that is available to you and it's a sport that is, is you're physically able to play for the whole duration of your life. However, we need to make sure that we are properly preparing ourselves from a, from a physicality, from an athletic perspective in order to make sure that, that we achieve that longevity in the sport. What's up everybody? Carter Schmitz with scratchgolftraining.com. Uh, before I dive in, be sure to subscribe, like, comment on this video, all of that good stuff. Your support is greatly appreciated. So a lot of people reach out to me saying, you know, I, I'm 60 years old, I'm 65 years old. What should I be doing in training in order to prepare for the sport of golf? And my answer to them isn't anything different than if a 20 year old or a 25 year old reached out to me asking the exact same question. Because here's why, the human body is adaptable. Whether you're 60, whether you're 65, or whether you're 20, 25, the human body is adaptable, meaning that if you apply stress to your body physically through training, so if you do some push-ups, if you do some squats, you are going to apply this physical stress to the body. Your body is then going to create adaptations from that stress and it's going to become stronger, it's going to become more resilient, it's going to become more it's going to become higher performing because of those adaptations that we're creating. And that same logic applies no matter your age. Now, here's the thing. As we grow older, as we age, we simply need to make sure that we are playing with that stress style appropriately. We need to make sure that we are applying the appropriate uh, amounts, magnitudes of stress to the body within the training setting. And so this may mean instead of resisting push-ups, we assist push-ups with a band. Or instead of uh, barbell back squats, we apply dumbbell goblet squats, which are just simply a little bit less impactful of an exercise. So we aren't changing the exercises that we're applying. We aren't changing the motor patterns. We aren't changing the movements. Or, and we aren't changing the fact that our body is still a, adaptable and it can still adapt to stresses that we give it. We're just simply playing with the magnitude of stress that we are applying the body. So today I have five exercises for you for the aging golfer, and, and quite frankly, not even for the aging golfer. They're just simply exercises in which we do dial back that stress level a little bit, dial back the impactfulness of the exercise a little bit, making them easier to recover from and easier to um, slightly lesser from, a, from an applying stress perspective. So the first one I got for you is a band squat row. It's going to allow us to attack a few different motor patterns kind of all in one. So we get this half squat, half hinge going on in the lower body. And then we also get this horizontal row going on in the upper body. So to complete it, I'm just going to let that band, I'm going to grab the band with two hands and then I'm going to let it pull me down into that squat hinge type of pattern. And then as I extend out of it, I'm going to row that band right to my lower rib cage, give it a little subtle squeeze at the top, and then let it uh, pull me back into another repetition. Next up, I mentioned it earlier, this is a dumbbell goblet squat. So I'm going to hold that dumbbell right against my chest uh, in that kind of front rack-ish position. Um, I'm going to hold elbows nice and high while I drop, while I lower into that squat pattern. I'm going to challenge that range of motion, try and sink nice and deep. The loading of that dumbbell on the front side allows me to really keep a nice vertical torso. So really try and keep um, you know that trunk upright, try and maintain that nice posture, uh, upright posture position. Nice, slow, controlled reps. Own the tempo that you're completing the exercise with, and don't be afraid to really try and challenge that loading stimulus. So grab a heavy dumbbell. Grab as big of a dumbbell as you have access to and try and push this exercise. Now we got an assisted push-up going down here. Obviously, I'm also on an incline. Uh, you could just do the incline to assist your push-up or you could also just do this band assisted kind of on the ground. A lot of different options to be played with here. 
So to complete it this way, I have a band hooked up across the top of that door, kind of above my head level. Um, I'm gonna get my that band into my hip so it's hooked right around my waist. And then I'm just gonna get complete normal push-ups, allowing that band to provide a subtle boost at the bottom range of that push-up. The band is just gonna take a little bit of pressure off, a little bit of body weight off at the bottom of that push-up, which will allow us to complete more reps. It will allow us to complete you know, push-ups if we can't do them just in a body weight fashion. Um, and it'll just lower that impactfulness or that stressfulness of the exercise. Now this next one is an exercise that I prescribe to kind of all athletes, no matter their age. It's a simple dumbbell bent over row. It's going to strengthen our posterior chain. It's going to strengthen our lats. It's going to provide this very stable base, this stable foundational position to row from. And it's just a great exercise for all ages. The way that we're going to dial back that stress level or the impactfulness of the exercise is simply through loading. Let's start with a lesser weight. Let's start with, you know, a 20, 25 pound plate somewhere in there. Make sure we're really maintaining a stable position. We aren't rotating our, our spines with the exercise. We're getting that dumbbell to our rib cage via that rowing pattern, not rotating our, our, our trunk or our upper body. And then as the adaptations are built, which they will be no matter your age, then we can start progressing that weight and we can start upping that load into heavier and heavier dumbbells. And then the last one I got for you is called a bear crawl shoulder tap. So I'm going to get into that tabletop, that bear crawl position, knees at 90 degrees, hips at 90 degrees, shoulders at 90 degrees, stable bear crawl position. And then I'm just going to alternate tapping shoulders on both sides. Now, we can dial back further the stress dial here by going with a wider stance. A wider stance gives us a larger base of support, making it easier to not rotate our hips, our pelvis, and, and our spine while completing this exercise. We also could put our hands up onto a bench of some kind or incline them somehow, which is going to take a little bit of pressure off of our shoulders, off of our upper body to hold that stable bear crawl position. And then as you progress, as you create adaptations, you can slowly uh, get back into this specific position, this specific movement on the ground in this bear crawl uh, position. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Thanks again for joining. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff on this video. Be sure to check out scratchgolftraining.com. Join the community over there. And remember, age does not know adaptation. As you grow older, continue to prepare yourself. Continue to seek out higher levels of resilience and higher levels of performance. Um, your body will thank you. Your longevity will thank you. And I hope that you always find yourself physically able and prepared to play the beautiful sport of golf.